I'm going to record for you a video of how to use CloudShare's integration with Azure Storage to sync your content from your development and testing environments inside of CloudShare with Azure production environments. Uh, so you see here that I have a virtual machine and this is where I do all my development and testing. And then in my cloud folders, which is an FTP location shared across all my virtual machines, I have a new option that allows me to sync directly with my Azure storage account. So to get that information, I can go into my storage account and choose the path and the user for the storage account that I want to use. This is where I want to transfer all my project files and anything that I need to move over into production. Simply take that path and put it in your CloudShare account along with the secret access key um, that you can also get from your storage settings over in Azure. This is to make sure that uh, everything is fully secure and we are sharing just the content that we want to share with our production environments. I can also specify the download and upload path. These can be the same, but you can separate them if you want to segregate your data. Maybe um, production versions versus uh, dev test versions, however you want to set it up. The first synchronization will begin and you will see a dialogue that shows the synchronization process. I can synchronize uh, just, I can upload files, I can just download files, or I can synchronize bidirectionally if I choose. Once this has happened and it is linked with my virtual machines, I can go in and actually view my machines and start adding content. So now I'm going to view my virtual machine and we're going to log into my cloud folders which is automatically mounted to my desktop here. And I see that currently my cloud folders are empty. So I would want to browse to the right folder and let's add some files. Now I'm going to go back and run a manual sync. Now I can open this folder explorer on my machine, my local machine, and see that currently there's no files, but the synchronization is taking place right now. So we'll give it a second, refresh, and there we see the file start to appear. And there's all of the files. And you see that we're browsing two separate folders because I set up two different folders for synchronization. So I can just um, do a sync the other direction. And the files from the Azure side will now appear in a separate folder. And open that other folder from the Azure side and there's the files. So it's as easy as that. You can simply transfer your development and testing files directly to your production environment with ease.